Hey guys, I'm out in the garden today and I'm noticing we've got a lot of these beetles. And these beetles, known as Japanese beetles, um, or also fig beetles, what they do is, uh, as adults, they are kind of like pollinators. They eat the pollen, but they also eat flowers and uh, other things like that, fruit. So we don't want a lot of these things in the garden. Um, We'll keep the bees to be our pollinating buddies. These guys multiply like crazy, and when they have their larvae, those are those ugly white grubs that you find in your uh, soil. And those grubs are a favorite food for the gophers. So it's just like one continuous problem. Now I try to buy the lures from Depot and Lowe's and even off Amazon. But um, when I tried to do that, they would not allow for a California shipment. Um, I guess it's been banned in the state of California. So I did some research and I'm gonna show you an alternative. It's actually um, or an organic solution and it's not that difficult to do and it's pretty effective. So let's get How started. How effective are these traps? Well, check this out. This has been out for less than a week and you see that um, already the beetles are trying to get in here. I should probably help that little fellow, but check out all these beetles. Yikes. But I'm happy to see that they are um, coming in here and that's less than I have to catch. You could also try catching them. Um, I suggest wearing gloves. My friend Patty is very brave and she will just catch them with her bare hands, but they, their legs are uh, thick and uh, you can really feel them and it kind of just gives me the, the creeps. Um, this is just soapy water. This one's dirty soapy water, but it's just soapy water and the one that's just floating there um, or just caught. And then another container I used was this um, Folgers container and then the lid comes off. So if you don't want to touch them, you can just catch them with like this kind of motion. Um, I would demonstrate, but I, I really don't have the equipment to demonstrate uh, to be able to hold this and effectively catch it. But take my word for it, it, it works. And then what you'll want to do, because this does smell after a while, you'll want to dump it out once they're all dead and um, just dig a hole and that'll be fertilizer for future plants. Okay, so we're going to make the traps and I'm going to show you how basically you can use whatever you've got in the house to do this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use a soda container. We don't drink a lot of soda, but um, if you do, these make great uh, traps. We're just basically going to cut um, this part in and we're going to invert the top down to create like a funnel. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And so we'll make a couple traps. So let's get started. So I happen to have this tool, which is a really great tool. It actually, can, you could see that it's smoldering and it can go through the plastic really easy. So I'm just going to um, poke a hole there. I mean, I'm barely touching it and it'll make a hole. Can you see that? I'm going to do it on the other side and this is going to just be for um, the hold um, the handle. Okay, so for the sewing part, what I use for a thread is just dental floss and you just want to use like a tapestry needle because it's just easier to thread it through. And I'm just going to line up a couple of these holes and pull my, my floss through. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect job. You just want it to be able to secure the um, two pieces together. Okay, so you can see my sewing job isn't that pretty, but it's gonna get the job done. And I'm just finishing up. I was able to go all the way around, but the whole idea is you basically wanna have some space. Um, I, I like this because um, they'll fill up this whole entire area. So the bigger the container, the better off you are. And the whole, then you just want to create this funnel-like type of thing. And so the bugs will go in there and then they can't come back out. So that's how you do the beetle trap. And then I'm so just going to... Now gonna, that we've uh, got that portion done, we need something to be able to hang it. 
So basically what I'm gonna use also free is a coat hanger, okay? So you just can pop off, if you get this kind, you won't have to cut the coat hanger. So you could just pop these off. Okay, of course it's not, there you go. Just pop that off like that. And then do the other side too. Okay, and then basically we can just find a hole and you might need pliers for this part because you might want to um, bend the coat hanger so that you can uh, secure it to the, the holes. So again, it doesn't have to be super fancy. You just want it to be secured. So that's how I did that. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's okay. It'll work. The beetles don't care if it's not pretty. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to twist the other end. Okay, and then I'm just going to poke that through like that. There you go. Okay, so let me back this up so you could see. So there we go. And I'm just going to use this to hang it from uh, whatever, a fence, whatever. So the other key component now, what you're going to do is you're going to take um, fruit, preferably spoiled fruit. So like if you have fruit in your refrigerator and it's gone bad, that's perfect because you want it to be uh, fermented. And so I'm going to stick some peaches. They like peaches. They like figs. Um, and I'm going to stick those down there. And then um, you want to have some liquid in there. This is a little bit of that soda because I just want the sugar to um, help with the fermentation process. And in, in about a week, you're gonna start seeing the, the beetles uh, multiply. So there you go. Anyways, you, you saw that it worked and that's how you make these things. Oh, and then this one is gonna be like a no-sew method. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert the, um, the wire hanger into these pieces here, th these holes. So that's pretty easy. And I like I like this one because you can stick the cap on afterwards and just toss it. Whereas this one, I guess you just put it in a bag. So anyways, either one will work. This is the no sew easy method and this is the sew method. You might be thinking, well, why don't you just use tape? Um, I tried that, it doesn't work. Um, it just fell apart. So. I had to put some work into it and um, so but that's no big deal it works it's cheap it was pretty much free all right thanks for watching I hope you learned something from this video and as always um, until next time have a great day and thanks for watching bye